Hey guys, welcome to Many Tribes One Kingdom. I'm Dustin. I want to give a big shout out to John for a very uh, awesome video on Tuesday about where all roads go, God or not. I found it a very interesting video and I hope you guys did too. I also want to say thank you to him for taking time out of his schedule to continually teach us about the false teachings of the church. I think it's a definite tongue twister. Um, also, I want to say thank you to you guys for continuing watching us through this series and following along with us. Now, in the future, you might come back to these topics so we can expound upon them or update you on what's currently happening in the church regarding these false teachings. So without a further ado, I'm going to introduce to you our, uh, well, my uh, video for today, which is the positive thinking, or the power of positive thinking um, theology, which is very, very dangerous. <laughs> um, as you know, my voice is getting really uh, scratchy because of this. It's just, this is something so silly, but I actually, when I went into research, I mean, I found out people actually believe this. Like, this is going back to the tiny gods theology uh, that John introduced to us in our very first video on this series. Now, <laughs> the power of positive thinking is a, a belief that you can change your circumstances, or you can change reality itself, that you can command the universe to change reality so that it always has a positive outlook on you. Which is very narcissistic, if you ask me. I mean, you, 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 we see all these, you know, spoiled kids, or we see, see all these kids that grow up and become very self-centered and selfish. Well, a lot of that comes from this kind of teaching, or this kind of belief. The universe isn't at our best and call, and in, in this case, the universe being God. You know, they want to call it the universe, but in a sense, it's God. Um, the universe is an inanimate object that was created by a being. God is the uncaused first cause, as Frank Turk would often state. If you haven't seen any of his videos, I do invite you to go watch them. They are very um, informative. But back on the power of positive thinking. Um, you see, there's many. There's a lot of evidence in... in all of scripture where positive thinking does not change your reality. I mean, you can, there's a whole book in the, uh, you just look at the book of Job. You know, I, he, if power of positive thinking would, it would have got him out of that situation or changed his outlook, he would have done that, but you can see he was getting more and more and more and more fed up as the book went on because it's just, his situation's just not changing. And until he questioned God, or until he talked to God himself about why this was happening, you know, he shouldn't be doing it, God took him on a journey and showed him that how small he really was. That the world did not revolve around Job, it revolved around him. I mean, you gotta think, God is not at our beck and call. The moment. The moment you think that God's at our beck and call, I do believe you are lost on your way, and you need to dive back into Scripture. I mean, you you got the book of Ecclesiastes, which gives a very, very glim outlook on life, which tells it as it is, which is why it's one of my favorite books. It just tells you as it is in life. But it doesn't focus on the positive outlook. It, pulls, it tells you that life is a very, very, could be very horrific at times. And it never said that positive thinking will get you out of it. Or that you can command the universe, God. Or sorry, let me fix those quotes. God, or in this case, the universe, will fix those situations. I mean, but it, it, at the end of the book of Ecclesiastes, it, will, it brings it back home and it says, Yeah, nothing else matters, but... Your belief in God matters. God matters. <laughs> He's the only constant. He's the only thing that stayed true throughout time. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. So, stick in for the long haul. And the power of positive thinking, and if, if it doesn't, and if you don't believe that it, it's the part that, you know, creates new realities, well, let's say, or creates, a, you know, allows the universe to create a new circumstances for you, to live in a more positive outlook, even if you're revolving it around a, you know, it's just more of a positive outlook on life, you know, always taking the good out of the situation. 
that's not also uh, also good because it, it allows you to become numb to the world's pain and it's very dangerous that we are in a dying and suffering world as again ecclesiastes has pointed out or well, the book of ecclesiastes it's a very glim world you can look at um, the fact that the crucifixion was a very horrific way to die you gotta you have to look at life a little differently it's not always going to be positive i mean look at COVID 19. no amount of positive thinking is going to change the situations that you're in jesus can change your situations he went on the cross to change those situations the devil tried to evict you from the house of god but jesus can you know and you see all in fact the old scripture where they were trying to please god and nothing they were doing was pleasing him because nothing of a finite being can please an infinite God. And so Jesus came back, paid the price, and said, We never evicted you from the kingdom of God. But here, I got you an easy way in. I got you an easy way. I paid your way back into the house of God. To you pay yourself back into the good graces with God to make you feel that you are now back in the kingdom of God. But we've always been welcome in the kingdom of God. God still loved us even after we fell because we were his workmanship. We were still his created being. He didn't forsake us because not all because we didn't turn away from let me, let me be very careful with what I'm saying. We didn't turn away from him eternally. We turned away from him in that finite period. But God still loved us to show us the way back. Show us the way back to that eternity. So that we may live in eternity with him. Positive thinking does not change that. Positive thinking is not a way to change your outlook on life. It, it, it just does not work. Because what are you going to tell somebody who just lost their parent in a car accident or their parent died? What are you going to tell them? Oh, you got to have a more positive outlook. Yeah, be prepared for a swift uppercut there, buddy not every situation is going to be welcoming not every situation is going to be at that point where a positive thought can change the situation now I'm not saying you can't be positive about life what I'm saying is that you cannot always have a positive outlook on every single situation because it's just not possible you have to have a Christ like observation of every single situation it is a learning moment every time either you are being raised up or being made more holy as your sanctification process, you are being made more holy, you are being harshly rebuked, but you're also being raised up when you are making those good decisions, rebuked when you're making those bad decisions. So it's not it's it's a mix between good and evil. Because of our first sin, free will came into well, free will has always existed. But because of sin, evil was brought into this world. So positive thinking just doesn't change your circumstances. It may help improve your mood momentary, but what is a momentary relief to an eternal suffering? So I say all that to say it's it's not a matter what your outlook on life is. Because if it was there would have been no war. There would have been no evil thing being done because everybody would have been so positive about the outlook of life or positive in every situation that they would never have been angry at each other to cause such things to happen. So when you're going down your road as a Christian and you see, you know, it, you see the most horrific things, look at them for what they are as a horrific thing occurring. Because what it does, it causes your heart to say, there is something that needs to happen there. Christ, need, you need to pray the power of Christ over that situation. Because only He can change those circumstances around. Because God is not at our beck and call. We are at, it. We are at His beck and call. I mean, 
look out, look throughout scripture, look throughout history, some of the great names like Martin Luther, Charles Spurgeon, and for our salvationist William Booth, who were called in the most horrific times to stand up in those horrific times and say, I'm proclaiming the name of Christ without warrant, without cause to change. That I am here to preach Christ and Christ crucified. To show the importance of how both of those things intertwine with our lives. How we need to focus in on Christ. And how we can make life better with Christ in our lives. So I want to say thank you for staying with me on this, and you might see a video coming soon where I might expound upon this, so stay tuned, I'm not 100% sure, so stay tuned, it might occur in December, right around Christmas time I might be presenting another video on the power of positive thinking so you guys can learn a little more, journey with us a little more, and, and learn a lot from these situations in life because and if, and in December, things might change. COVID might be gone. Because the power of someone's prayer may have caused a change in that situation because God heard all the prayers of all the members of the true church of Christ. And he said, you know what? They've learned their lesson. They've returned to me. Or he might say, well, you know, you guys are listening to me and you know, you see that this virus is hurting you. And you need to return back to me. And I see that you're doing that, but you know, you just got a little more to go. Or focus in on Christ, guys. That is the best advice I'll ever give you. Focus in on Christ, and He will guide you most of the way. Every part in the Bible is focused around Christ. It's focus around God for a reason. Because He's still moving. His Spirit is still moving on this earth. He's still in control. And remember, we're at His beck and call, not the other way around. So stay tuned and have a blessed day, everyone.